A Harry Potter live action TV series is in development for the streaming service HBO Max. Maybe. Bonjour y'all, my name is Brita and today on Witches Unite I want to talk about something a little bit different than my usual content and that is this report from The Hollywood Reporter and other news sources that there might be a TV series somehow related to Harry Potter coming to the streaming service HBO Max. First up, I'm going to read this directly from The Hollywood Reporter. They are the ones who broke the story. Sources tell The Hollywood Reporter that executives at the Warner Media-backed streamer have engaged in multiple conversations with potential writers, exploring various ideas that would bring the beloved property to television. Sources say broad ideas have been discussed as part of the early stage exploratory meetings. Uh, okay. All of that sounds very kind of maybe sorta, but there are sources, unnamed sources. Well, it's news that executives at HBO Max and Warner's are engaged in meetings to find a writer and pitch for a Harry Potter TV series. No writers and or talent are currently attached as the conversations are still in the extremely early stages and no deals have been made. There are no Harry Potter series in development at the studio or on the streaming platform. HBO Max and Warner Brothers reaffirmed in a statement to The Hollywood Reporter. So before we get too excited about this, just keep in mind that the information is very preliminary. I take unnamed sources with a grain of salt. I realize that good journalists will sometimes use unnamed sources who are speaking in an unofficial capacity. They cannot reveal their sources because harm could come to their sources. I get that. That's an integral part of journalism. But especially when it comes to entertainment news, I take unknown sor unnamed sources with a grain of salt just because a lot of times there are people who are just making stuff up for fun. And the official statement from a Warner Brothers and HBO Max representative is that there is not a Harry Potter series in development. And technically that could be a true statement and these sources could also be telling the truth if the conversations are super, super early, just putting together ideas, pitching ideas, having that like outline brainstorm creative process that's not really development, right? Anyway, I thought it would be fun to talk about some of the possible Harry Potter TV series that we could see, share my personal preferences for a Harry Potter TV series, and speculate as to whether or not Wizards Unite will play a part in the Harry Potter TV series. Real quick side note, the Super Carlin Brothers did a video on this same topic. I will link it in the card up above and the description down below. However, if you want proof that I was already thinking about this video and thinking about different possible series that we could see, please check out my uh, visit, my, my guest appearance on the podcast with Mario, also Tactical Panda 007. He, uh, he interviewed me recently for Content Beyond and we talked about this and we filmed it before the Super Carlin Brothers released their video. So I love the Super Carlin Brothers. We have some overlapping thoughts for sure, but I don't want anyone to think that I like ripped off their idea. So anyway, I'm also only going to quickly go over ideas because y'all don't really need an in-depth discussion of why each idea would be awesome. If you're a Harry Potter fan, you probably know why each of these TV series ideas would be awesome. So 
What I would love to see would be something from the Marauders era. I want to see a young James, a young Sirius, a young Remus, and yes, a young Peter Pettigrew. One of the things that kind of gets forgotten sometimes in, in Harry Potter fan fiction and certainly in Harry Potter discussions about characters is that Peter Pettigrew was one of their best friends and that's what makes that his betrayal so heartbreaking. What did their friendship look like when he genuinely loved his friends and he was genuinely supporting his friends? I want to see that. I want to see what the Hogwarts life would be like during Voldemort's reign. How were they still having fun at school while Voldemort was, you know, at large? How how is that balanced out? We see it a little bit, of course, in the regular Harry Potter books with Voldemort's return. But his return was kind of kept quiet, right? So, yeah. I have a lot of reasons why I want to see the Marauders, but I said I was going to keep this short. Other possibilities. Something in the modern day. Right, we have the cursed child, the play. Not everybody considers it canon. I don't really think it's canon, but that's another video. But I would love to see the next generation, you know? Tell me more about Hugo and Rose and James and Lily and poor, poor little Albus Severus, who has the worst name ever. Tell me about these characters. What are their lives like? What is it like to be the children of the famous Harry Potter and Ginny Weasley and Ron Weasley and Hermione Granger. It could be another at Hogwarts tale. It could also be one of those great stories that appeals to audiences of all ages because you could do storylines focusing on the kids, right, which appeals to, to younger people. But you could also have really great storylines about our original characters who we love and what their lives are like as adults. You know, Neville Longbottom is a professor now and he's married to Hannah Abbott who runs the Three Broomsticks. So what is that like? I don't know. I want to know. So make a TV series out of it. And then there is something I have wanted for a really long time, which is a straight book adaptation. I would love to see the Harry Potter books as a TV series. I have wanted this probably since the first couple movies came out. I have been so frustrated by a lot of the unnecessary changes from the books to the films. Like, I understand you have to cut things up, you have to consolidate plot lines and characters to take really long movies and, oops, to take really long books and turn them into at least normal long movies. I mean, Order of the Phoenix is what, like 500, 600 pages? These are long books. But some of the changes are so unnecessary. I love the house elves, for example. I love Dobby so much. And the movies basically ruin his storyline. We get to see him in Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, and then we don't get to see him in Goblet of Fire or Order of the Phoenix. I'm pretty sure he's not in Half-Blood Prince, although it's been a while since I've seen Half-Blood Prince. Then he shows up again in Deathly Hallows, and we all know what happens. And that would just mean more, and honestly it would make more sense for Dobby to show up in Deathly Hallows if we had seen him this entire time like we do in the books. That's just one thing that really, really bothers me. And side note, if you would like to see me do a video of changes I like and don't like from the books to the films, leave a comment down below and tell me because I have been wanting to do some more Harry Potter content that is not directly related to Wizards Unite. I know it's been done before, but I have stronger feelings, so. <laughs> anyway, a TV series would be amazing. And I've definitely talked to people in like Harry Potter subreddits about this before. What 
would be really great about a TV series on a streaming platform is that streaming platforms have a lot less restrictions than traditional TV networks do. So if you have ever watched one of the Netflix originals or Amazon originals, you might have noticed that the time of each episode can vary greatly. This is because they don't have to fit the traditional half hour or hour long TV segment that other programming does. If you're watching something that was originally on cable, you'll notice that it's almost exactly, what, 43 minutes to watch an hour long show because of commercials, right? Well, with the Harry Potter series, they can have seasons that vary greatly in length in order to adequately tell the story of the books. They can have episodes that vary in length. You know, they have a lot of creative freedom on a streaming platform to bring the books to life. I also wouldn't mind seeing a few things added to the source material. You know, some of those casual scenes, like in one of the films, Ron and Harry and Dean and Neville and Seamus are all hanging out, eating candies and making animal noises. It's just very simple and quiet and sweet to see these friends just hanging out being roommates. That is a huge part of being a roommate is those casual moments with your roommates. Understandably, we don't really see them in the books because they're not gonna move the plot forward, but just little snippets like that would be a nice addition to a TV series if we got a TV series based on the book. And I know I'm repeating myself, but just, the freedom to do a truly true to the book adaptation, oh, that would be amazing. Finally, I mentioned Wizards Unite, right? What if the modern day Harry Potter TV series is less about cursed child events and more about the calamity? Da, da, da. Wizards Unite, the TV series. I actually did an entire video about this possibility before Wizards Unite even came out. So you can find that in the card below, wow, the card up below, or in the description down above. Whatever. Y'all know what I mean. <laughs> The train marks for Wizards Unite include film and TV rights that would allow Warner Brothers to create media adaptations or you know, media productions using the phrase Wizards Unite. So they might have just been covering all of their bases when they did the trademark application, but since they did cover all their bases, they could make a TV series based on the Calamity, which I would love. First of all, the game could still be going on and the game could still be revealing stuff that we don't know. But the TV series could start like before the beginning of Wizards Unite. So the very beginning of Wizards Unite, if you remember, if you started, you know, day one like I did, um, we are finding out about this very strange magical occurrence that has been dubbed the Calamity. We know that people and items from, pe pe from memories, from past events, are showing up today and they have to be returned. Okay, that's the whole thing of you overcome the confoundable magic and you return the foundable to its proper place and time. But what about before that? What if we had a TV series that started with Grimm and Penelope and then the London Five disappearance happens and we have this, this mystery about the London Five and we learn more about Grimm, we learn more about his motivations, we learn more about all of the desperate steps that he's willing to take in order to find his beloved wife. We learn more about their children who don't get mentioned very much, as Dillion Sages and Witches has pointed out a few times. We could have an entire TV series 
filling in that backstory of what caused the calamity. Or, you know what? We don't even necessarily know if, if Grimm caused the calamity, right? But we can have that backstory fill in all of the details from the snippets that we've gotten of the story regarding Grimm and Penelope. Just go back a little bit, tell us more. That could easily be an entire season, maybe even two seasons. Just set up Wizards Unite through the TV series. And then at that point, the TV series could cover some of the events that we had in the game. We could get more information about the brilliant events. We could see them sort of play out, see more happening at the Ministry of Magic, learn more about Constance Pickering, and hey, maybe she really is sus. I don't know. I just think there is a lot of untapped potential with the Wizards Unite storyline. I love what Lynette and Wizard PhD and Zoe of Stitches and Witches have done, really exploring the storyline, putting together hypotheses, asking questions. And James actually did a really great video too on Expecto Go with a theory tying together Wizards Unite and Hogwarts Mystery. There is so much that could be done with the little snippets that we already have. So, Wizards Unite, the TV series, I want to see it happen. I, I want to see a, a pure adaptation of the entire book series first, like the seven Harry Potter books. But then, give me Wizards Unite the series. I know that this was a very different video than what I normally do, but as soon as I saw the rumors going around about a Harry Potter TV series, I knew I had to share my thoughts and my wishes for what a Harry Potter TV series could look like. Plus, I'm pretty sure I'm the only one who was like, yes, Wizards Unite, I have evidence. Anyway, just kind of nerding out over my own prowess there. And if I'm right, I would just like to point out that my original video was like such a long time ago, <laughs> giving all the evidence for a uh, Wizards Unite TV series. Anyway. I'm a super nerd who likes to look up trademark registration. It's fine, y'all. I am really cool. Anyway, if y'all like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. If you want more Harry Potter content, especially with this Unite content, subscribe to my channel. I mostly do event guides and news updates, but sometimes I do fun things like this and I am resuming my quick tips series. So I actually already have some screen recordings put together from when I was playing but I wasn't able to film in order to share some more quick tips. Now for those of you who are like me who have been playing Wizards Unite since day one, you probably already know a lot of this advice that I'll be sharing. but. So many of my quick tips that I filmed in the first couple months of the game, they continue to get views over and over and over again. So I know that new players are coming to the game, you know, old players are coming back to the game, and players have some basic questions that I can answer. So I'm excited to resume with this quick tips series. Just keep an eye out for when I get the next one uploaded. If you want to know, exactly when I started. Turn on the notification bell after you subscribe to my channel and that way you will get a little alert every time I upload a new video. And of course I want to know your thoughts. Please, please, please leave me a comment on your whole perspective on the possibility of a Harry Potter TV series. Are you a little skeptical like I am? Are you just all in thinking it's totally 100% going to happen and if it does happen what should be the series versus what do you think will be the series because those are not necessarily the same thing <laughs> also if you have other creative ideas I would love to hear them there were a few other ideas that Mario and I talked about in his podcast content beyond so if you want to know those additional ideas be sure to check that out when this goes live, 
the episode with me will not yet be live, <laughs> but I'll update the description <laughs> with my episode on content beyond. And of course, if you follow me on social media, I will be sharing it in all of those places. All right. I think that's about all that I have for y'all today. As always, thank y'all so much for watching. Until next time, <laughs> au revoir, witches.